I am alive. But we alive, baby. We don't jive. I don't imply. Cause we alive, baby. They can't stop us till they try. Alive like the fine but line alive, that exists baby. between fans and fanatics, dealers and addicts, addictions and habits, denial and hope, caution and fear. My name is Natalie Barrett, and I am currently vice president of business development for the O Group. And um, we work in a variety of different fields for luxury brands. Prior to working for the O Group, I was uh, partners with Madeleine Moore at Public New York, and um, they're one of the areas that we concentrated on was diversity. So m most of my experience came through my uh, partnership with Madeleine. You know, when I uh, moved over to here from the United Kingdom, it was in '97, and I really rapidly got that there was a different atmosphere around. Uh, the subject of diversity here than what I've been used to working in Europe and, and the UK. So as some time passed I met Madeline and um, she is very well respected in her field. She's been handling issues of diversity long before it was ever a buzzword. And um, she joined my agency as a partner and with her she brought accounts like the NUL, um, the NAACP briefly and a, you know, a number of other businesses that were in that field or non-profits that were in that field. So uh, she was contacted by Bill Gray over the 2006 Human Rights Commission saying that basically the number of black executives in advertising had just hadn't changed since the 60s. And Bill knew that Madeline would be a great person to help consolidate the idea of diversity in this big company. So uh, we'd worked on the proposal with him and it was, we took it from the place of not just I think a cynical exercise in upping the number, you know, but more in the realm of what diversity could mean across race, across sex, across age, you know, and bring that into the company. So it was a very detailed proposal and, it, and I think one of the reasons why it didn't go through to the finish line was because it was such a big idea for Ogilvy that he loved it personally but he couldn't figure out quite how to execute it. Okay. So this program that you're talking about, this proposal, nothing ever came of it. It's no, just no. simply was something that you presented to over the amount of it, but then you realize it would just fall into the wayside. Yeah, it went it went to like three or four different meetings. Madeline had meetings directly with her, and I shouldn't say too much without you speaking to Madeline directly. But um, but yeah, you know, it was it was a very detailed and interesting program, and uh, it seemed to be very much in line with what it was that they were looking for. It's funny because you brought up the the you know the whole the stigma behind the word diversity and how diversity is being used right now. Mm -hmm. um, Nancy Hill with the 4-H, she talked about diversity and the way she explained it. She was saying that the word itself that companies are even afraid to even talk and use the word because it's such a negative stigma that's been placed on the word. You know, I think it's really true that it's become a loaded word, and it's in the same way that uh, the word feminism has become loaded too. You know, I'm really conscious of the fact that whenever I am in a situation, you know, in 2008, with a, in a business situation, that there's a very distinct possibility that 40 years ago, my opinions or my skill set would not have been valued in the way then that they are now. And that is, you know, for women, the landscape has changed. And there's a great deal of talk about how it hasn't changed enough recently. but. Nevertheless, I think there are some markers showing that it has changed. However, you don't find many young women who will say that they are feminist or espouse feminism because the word has been sort of damaged. And I think that's exactly the same with diversity. Um, diversity initiatives often lack teeth, you know, and uh, are often, I think, a, a cynical exercise. Uh, I mean, I'll say the word cynical, but that is covering up a lack of real change. Of the spirit and legacy of every protagonist, of every evolution that ever was, I am everlasting. Regardless, in spite and because of. Baby, we don't know why we win, the where, the why, the how. Cause we are like the one, they can't stop us.